Unit 6, Section 3, Key Events Related to the Consequences of the War. I want to talk about Andrew Johnson's impeachment. If you remember, Andrew Johnson was uh, Nick Lincoln's vice president. Uh, he was chosen by Lincoln in his second term as president so that uh, because he was battling the Copperheads for the 1864 re-election and he needed some um, like border states votes, more southern Union states votes. And so he was sort of a, a balance of the ticket to help Link, Lincoln get reelected against the Copperheads. The problem with Andrew Johnson was is he was from Tennessee and he was sympathetic towards the South. And so over and over again, the radical Republicans in Congress passed legislation and Johnson attempted to veto it. Um, the final straw came with uh, legislation passed by Congress called the Tenure of Office Act. They passed this uh, on purpose, and the purpose was because Andrew Johnson wanted to fire this man, Edwin Stanton. Edwin Stanton was his Secretary of War that he had inherited from Abraham Lincoln, and Edwin Stanton did not agree with Johnson's sympathies towards the South, and he tattletailed to the congressional radicals uh, all of Johnson's plans. And so Johnson was going to fire him, but Congress passed the Tenure of Office Act to stop him. Johnson fired him anyway, and it led to his impeachment. Uh, Johnson was acquitted of the charges, and which means not found guilty by one vote. Johnson had become what is referred to as a lame duck president. And that means that he or she is not able to get anything passed in Congress because Congress does not believe that they have the power to do anything uh, to uh, enforce their policies. This concludes Unit 6, Section 3, Consequences of the Civil War, Andrew Johnson's Impeachment.